Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, the best we could do today was partial sunshine, and that's the uh, slow improvement that uh, we've been talking about. A dry day, live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar, not finding any precipitation, lots of clouds, uh, some occasional uh, sunshine peeking through every now and then. I think over the next couple of hours, we'll start to see more of a decrease in the cloud cover. So. Cool and dry weather anticipated for tonight. In fact, probably chilly temperatures dropping into the 40s. Some improvements are still slated for Friday and uh, still going with a chance for showers for part of the weekend. Uh, the problem with the weather pattern is that well, there's sort of a, a traffic jam in the atmosphere. In other words, things are moving very, very slowly. I want to show you an interesting satellite loop, what we call the water vapor imagery. We're always looking for these large counterclockwise swirls in the atmosphere. Here's New England. Here's a giant one out over the ocean. We call them uh, upper level lows. Here's another one spinning across the nation's mix midsection. And I show you the, the big weather picture to explain why things are going to turn unsettled again starting uh, next week. You get these, these big swirls in the atmosphere and everything tends to slow down and actually things tend to be more unsettled as well. So when we take a look at the extended forecast, it uh, unfortunately doesn't look promising. Now in Providence, a little bit of sunshine through the cloud cover right now. The temperature at 50 on a northeasterly breeze at 13, relative humidity now at 60%. High temperatures, and we want to talk about close as far as all day sunshine and warm temperatures just over the Connecticut border. Mainly sunny today with temperatures getting close to 70. Uh, the further east you went, uh, out across especially eastern Massachusetts, the temperatures here were much, much cooler. So, what a difference between western suburbs and eastern sections. Temperatures now are in the mid to upper 50s. So, for this evening, really no problem. Clouds melting away a little bit, partly cloudy, cool and dry. By midnight, we'll drop off to 50, and then late at night, we'll fall to the upper 40s. For the morning commute tomorrow, clouds giving way to sunshine. On the traffic light, we're giving it the green light, which means uh, no traffic problems in terms of the weather, 50 to 58 degrees. And then during the afternoon, a little brighter and a little warmer, more in the way of sunshine, or at least partly sunny skies. That'll get temperatures up into the mid to upper 60s, so overall, it looks comfortable. Northeast breeze boaters at 10 to 15 temperatures in the upper 60s in most locations with a blend of clouds and sunshine. Northwest corner of the state may actually hit 70. And once again, like so many days, southeastern Massachusetts will be a bit cooler, looking at temperatures here in the uh, middle 60s and then much cooler out towards Cape Cod and the islands. All right, seven day outlook uh, indicating uh, partly sunny skies on Saturday. That would be the dry day of the weekend. Scattered showers on Sunday, 64. And there's that unsettled weather pattern next week. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's raining every day or every hour of the day, but scattered showers, mild temperatures, and high humidity as another system kind of slows down and stalls over New England. I am, I am just the messenger, but... Uh, I know, but tomorrow's great. Tomorrow's and, the day to take off. And even most of Saturday should be okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah.